Welcome back to another episode. I hope you are doing well. Together, let's visit our animal friends. The hyacinth macaw is a parrot native to Central and Eastern South America. With a length of about one meter, it is longer than any other species of parrot. It is the largest macaw and the largest flying parrot species. The flightless kakapo of New Zealand outweighs it. While generally easily recognized, it could be confused with the smaller Lear's macaw. Habitat loss and the trapping of wild birds for the pet trade have taken a heavy toll on their population in the wild, so the species is classified as vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List, and it is protected by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. The tail is long and pointed. Its feathers are entirely blue, lighter above. However, the neck feathers can sometimes be slightly grey. The ring around the parrot's eyes and area just underneath the beak are a strong, vibrant yellow. A main predator is the toco toucan, which consumes a large percentage of the eggs. Eggs are also regularly preyed on by corvids such as jays and crows, opossums, skunks and coatis. The majority of the hyacinth macaw diet is composed of the nuts from specific palm species, such as acuri and bokaiuva palms. They have very strong beaks for eating the kernels of hard nuts and seeds. Their strong beaks are even able to crack coconuts, the large Brazil nut pods, and macadamia nuts. Limited tool use has been observed in both wild and captive hyacinth macaws. Nesting takes place between July and December, with nests constructed in tree cavities or cliff faces depending on the habitat. It depends on the toucan for its livelihood. The toucan contributes largely to seed dispersal of the manduvi tree that the macaw needs for reproduction. However, the toucan is responsible for dispersing seeds of Sticulia apitala, but also consumes many of eggs preyed. Hollows of sufficient size are only found in trees around 60 years of age or older, and competition is fierce. Existing holes are enlarged and then partially filled with wood chips. The clutch size is one or two eggs, although usually only one fledgling survives, as the second egg hatches several days after the first, and the smaller fledgling cannot compete with the firstborn for food. The macaw lays more eggs than can be normally fledged to compensate for earlier eggs that failed to hatch or firstborn chicks that did not survive. The incubation period lasts about a month, and the male tends to his mate whilst she incubates the eggs. The chicks leave the nest around 110 days of age and remain dependent on their parents until six months of age. They are mature and begin breeding at seven years of age. They're the longest sitter sign. They are also very even-tempered and can be calmer than other macaws, being known as gentle giants. Thank you for your visit. Till we meet again, take care.